this was Nas's first time being like in the crib without her strong man here to protect her. So how was it? What's up guys? Welcome back to another video. So this video is going to be a vlog that we filmed this past weekend. So this weekend was actually the first time that Vaughn and I had been alone in the house overnight. Hi! Hi! <laughs> we hear you. But yeah, daddy left us. It was my first time going on a trip. This was Nas's first time being like in the crib without her strong man here to protect her. So how was it? First of all, we did just fine without our strong man to protect us. But actually, Vaughn and I had a lot of fun. Feel free to leave more often. We bonded, we went shopping, we cuddled. Mm. It was fun. I had a good time with my boy. Feel free to leave a little more. Don't threaten me with a good time because uh, there's a few more places I want to go. Mm -hmm. So if you follow me on Instagram, you would know that I was in San Jose or the Bay Area for a sneaker con. And that was my first time ever being in San Jose. Well, you never been to the Bay. I went to that. That was in San Diego. That was my first time <laughs> being in San Jose. I think the weather was a little bit cooler there, so I liked it. I'll be. Let me have that. Here. Oh, oh yeah. it's so yummy. Thank you. Say subscribe. Baba, say subscribe. 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 <laughs> subscribe. <laughs> Say like, comment, subscribe. Oh you're so yummy. <laughs> Later in this video you guys will find out that my purpose in going to sneaker con was to spread the word of another shoe convention that I'll be at in Las Vegas on September 19th. I'll post a flyer on the screen. I'll have more information on my Instagram and tag my friend who's putting on the shows, his Instagram, so you guys can pull up. So yeah, guys, let's get into this vlog. Also gave Vaughn a little side of cheese. So he has hash brown, sausage, cheese, and fruit. I was gonna go make him an egg. That's why I put the sausages on the side of the pan like that. But we're out of eggs. We have no eggs, Bubba. Oh. I love how he just holds his fork in his hand and then continues to eat with his hands. All right, y'all, catch you on the flip. Mm -hmm. Nas, Nas and Vaughn are about to do nothing without me. They're gonna be so bored. False. I already know. We're gonna enjoy our time without you. There is no time without me. Say bye. 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 <laughs> Guys, this is how mama babysits for me. If I need to go downstairs real quick, I went to go grab Vaughn his water. So I just put him in his crib and this is mama watching him. Hi, mama. <laughs> Some ketchup on his chin, I have to wipe off. Grandma, he's giving you water. Thank you. Thank you. Yay! Uh oh, uh oh. I made Vaughn a little lunch. He is eating some mashed potatoes, some bell peppers, and ranch. And those are like the mini sweet peppers, and then I also have some chicken salad for him. I think I'm gonna move him into his high chair because I can just tell by his positioning he is not gonna eat. Look. Look at him, just throwing everything off of his plate already. Um, but I'm washing his stuff on his high chair, so at first I wasn't gonna put him in it, but I think I'll be fine, to be honest. Just won't be as cozy. So let's just move him real quick. So Vaughn and I got dressed really quick. So he took a really long nap today, which was nice, especially since you know I was alone. It gave me a lot of time to you know, like clean and just hang out and do whatever I wanted to do. Bye. So he, hi, bye. He's saying hi. Oh. So 
yeah, Vaughn took a really, really Bye. long nap. And then after he woke up, we just cuddled and watched some TV. And now we're about to go out because I want to cook us some dinner. We have pretty much everything we need, but I want to put shrimp in our pasta because Vaughn loves shrimp. So we're going to go to Whole Foods, get some shrimpies. And Whole Foods is over by Ulta. So I'm like, let me just stop by Ulta real quick and just get us at the house. You know, we've been home all day. Get some fresh air, explore. I mean, it is a Saturday night, so we can go a little... A little crazy. Hey. Let me fill them up some water. It's empty, Bob. I have to go fill it up for you. One second, Bubs. <laughs> One second, Bubba. Oh, it was so romantic. Are Mama and Vani about to hit the town? Huh, Bubs? These damn eyebrows, y'all, will be the death of me. Oh, I love when he drinks his water. He's so cute. <laughs> got to put on your shoes. Vaughn's little crackies. These are the cutest little things on earth. You gonna put your shoes on, Bubba? Thank you. Thank you. You're welcome. All dressed and ready to go. Oh, no more water. Okay, let's go, Munchkin. I just got back from our little adventure. It was really fun. I'm glad we got out the house. And again, it was a Saturday night, so we just went to the shopping center. And you know, like everybody was out, all the restaurants, and everyone was like sitting outside. It was cute. It was like fun to people watch, you know, get some fresh air, stuff like that. So I'm about to make Ron and I a quick dinner because his bedtime is in like 30, 45 minutes. Dude, this is literally the worst ponytail I've ever done. Let me fix that. So since we aren't cooking for Mel tonight, and he doesn't eat red meat or seafood. No, he does eat seafood, but he has like an allergy to shellfish. Like his tongue like swells up if he eats shrimp. But Vaughn and I like steak and shrimp. And then also I got this pre-marinated beef. I was just gonna buy like steak and cook it up myself, but I figured like I'm running low on time. Let me just buy this like pre-marinated like beef. This, these are garlic herb beef skewers. They looked really good. So I'm just going to cook this up. I'm not sure I wanna season the shrimp yet. And then I wanted to go to the hot bar and just get the pre-made mac and cheese, but the hot bar was already closed at like 8 p.m. So I just got us some boxed mac and cheese. Not my finest hour, but again, we're hungry, we're low on time, at least it's organic. I also just got a few other little groceries. I got Vaughn this toddler probiotic, and then I got myself a probiotic as well. Ooh, almost dropped it. This one, it's just like a woman's daily probiotic. Ooh, their peaches looked really good. I got some peaches. And then I got some of these Annie's Hidden Veggies crackers. I'll probably be eating these too. They have sweet potato in them, pumpkin, tomato, carrot. Yeah, these look bomb. But anyways, I'm gonna get to cooking so that I can get Vaughn to bed. Just finished cooking dinner. So here's the shrimp. I just finished up the shrimp. So I pretty much just seasoned it with like a bunch of garlic seasonings because again, the steak was like gar uh, garlic marinated. So the shrimp looks so good. There's our, Vaughn is so hungry guys, I feel so bad. Here is our box mac and cheese. And then here is the steak, I just have it resting. I'm gonna chop this up, get Vaughn fed. We're both so hungry, everything looks so good. So Vaughn and I finished eating dinner. I gave him a bath. So mom is off the clock. Well, now I'm off the clock because I came down here. I set my 30 minute timer. If you guys saw that video, I said that's the best way for me to get things done in a short amount of time. I set a timer and I get it done so much quicker than if I don't. So I set a 30 minute timer. I clean the entire downstairs, you know, wash the dishes, all of that stuff. Lost a nail in the process. I'm just gonna glue it back on, but 
I need to get these nails done anyway, but I want to show you guys what I picked up from Ulta when I went earlier. So I actually heard of this brand a while ago, hair brand. It's called Verb. So I got the travel size because obviously the big bottles, I didn't want to buy it in case I didn't like it, but I've heard so many good things about the Verb Ghost shampoo and conditioner. Let me open this up. So this was $24. It came with the shampoo, conditioner, the hair mask, and the hair oil. So here's what it looks like. I really like the scent. It says weightless, color safe, cleanse. I hear it's just like a no frills, just like simple. The conditioner. I love how it's like black and white. Are you guys like that? Like I'll purposely buy a certain brand over another brand over the packaging, like over the fact that I feel like it will match my aesthetic better or match my bathroom better. So I'm kind of going for like a nude black and white theme in the shower. I don't know how well that's gonna last, especially with Mel's stuff and Mel's products, but so far I'm doing a good job with it. This is the ghost oil, it's just a weightless hair oil. And then the hair mask. Speaking of hair, my hair looks so greasy in this angle. It probably is greasy. I feel like my hair looks way greasy on camera than like what it is. Whatever, I've been working out. I haven't washed my hair in like, <gasps> oh God. Pretty sure I just made my hair look 10 times worse. Next up from Ulta, I just re-upped on my favorite moisturizer, my favorite body moisturizer. This is the Hemp's Age Define Moisturizer. I actually go for their sensitive skin one just because you guys know I don't like super heavily scented products. So I like the Age Define one too because it has like firming quality. So I really like put it on my thighs and like my inner thighs and stuff like that. Um, but I just love the bottle. I love that it has a pump. I love how big it is. I feel like it lasts me so long. So I really like this. And then also because I love this the last time I bought it, I saw they had the body scrub. So I thought this was like a great size for the price. Um, and it's again from the age defying line. So I got that as well. I picked up another one of my favorite foundations. I have been through, I think this is like my 10th bottle of this foundation. You guys know this is one of my favorite, favorite foundations, hands down. It's drugstore, but I honestly like it than most high-end foundations. This is the Maybelline Fit Me Matte and Poreless Foundation. I'm in the shade 220 Natural Beige. Had to get another one of these. And I also like to try this. Oh my God, that just scared the fuck out of me. It was the, it was the garbage disposal. You guys know when you're home alone, you're like, everything makes you jump. Um, and you guys know I'm like a horror fanatic and like true crime lover. So like everything scares me, but I got the alarms on. I got all the doors locked. No one fucking with me. I feel like whenever we see favorites from Maybelline, either people love this foundation right here or they love, wait, hold on a second. Active wear. Okay, I think I picked up the wrong one. So this is the Maybelline Superstay. I'm sure you guys have heard of the Maybelline Superstay, but I was looking, I was like, oh, they got rid of the colorful letters because it's silver, but it's a Superstay active wear. So I don't know if this is the same as the 24 hour no, this one says up to 30 hour coverage. Girl, when do you need 30 hours of coverage? But I mean, it's nice to know that you have 30 hours in it, but I thought this was the Superstay 24 hour. I'm sure it's still good. Like Maybelline just honestly kills it with their products. I'm thinking about mixing a little bit of this in with this one, because this one's a little bit thicker and heavier coverage, hence why it's 30 hour foundation, um, 30 hour wear. So that's kind of why I got it to kind of mix the two, but I'm excited to try this one as well. Oh my God, my nail is so bad. Then the last product that I picked up from Ulta, I just got another one of my NYX Lift and Snatch brow pens. I've been using this for months now. I think I've repurchased this like four times now. I really, really love this brow pen, you guys. This is the shade Ash Brown. I feel like it matches me so well. Check this one out if you guys haven't already. So I'm about to go upstairs, clean the bedroom. You guys know I always end my night with cleaning. I feel like it's almost like therapeutic and like relaxing to me, but I'm currently watching My Unorthodox Life. I always have a show that I'm watching personally and then the show I'm watching with Mel. It's like a reality show, but if you guys haven't watched it, I really, really enjoy the show. I find Julia Hart so inspiring because I feel like I can relate to her a lot. I just find her so inspiring because I feel like I can relate to her a lot in the sense of coming up from a certain background and a certain culture. Um, obviously she came from a much more strict and conservative background than I did, but just, you know, dealing with the backlash in your community and dealing with, um, you know, just going against the status quo and dealing with a lot of judgment that comes with it and how she handles herself with grace. And the fact that she became like this billionaire at the age of like 43, like literally she started her life and her career at 43. And then we're over here at like 19, 20, 21, 22, feeling like we're running out of time. Like 
She's just so inspiring. If you guys haven't watched that show, I highly recommend it. I'm just gonna take all this stuff upstairs and I'll continue the vlog tomorrow. What's up you guys? It is the next day. So Vaughn and I just woke up. You guys know the routine. He ate breakfast and it hit me when I was making his breakfast. I was like, I was literally at Whole Foods last night and I did not buy more eggs. So he just ate the same breakfast that he did yesterday. That's so why I didn't film it. I wanted to get repetitive. Um, we just went upstairs like you guys saw. We always play like in between breakfast time and then I clean the kitchen. We always go upstairs. He plays for a few hours. We FaceTime grandma and grandpa and all that stuff. So once he finished playing, I just put him down for a nap. We came downstairs, we ate a little snack. We had those peaches we got yesterday at Whole Foods. We ate some cheese, some crackers. And now Vaughn is sleeping and I went ahead and marinated some chicken. Guys, this marinade, I wish you guys could smell this. Do the screen, it smells so good. It is just chicken tenderloins and then I put sour cream and lemon juice. Um, if you think putting sour cream, it always amazes me when people think it's so weird that you put sour cream in chicken. But I think like being Middle Eastern, we use so much yogurt like in marinades for our chicken and proteins and stuff. So I never thought twice about putting like a, you know, sour cream or yogurt on my meat. But yeah, sour cream or yogurt it really does add so much to the flavor. So I added that. And then I added black pepper, garlic, salt, um, Montreal chicken seasoning. I love that seasoning so much. Um, and then I also use these two from Trader Joe's. Let me show you because I really like them too. So this one here is the Trader Joe's South African Smoke Seasoning Blend. So freaking good. I know I told you guys I'm intolerant to bell peppers and a lot of you guys let me know that paprika is made from red bell pepper. And it's weird, I don't really feel a reaction to eating paprika versus like a full on red bell pepper. I feel like I need to eat a certain amount of it for it to affect me. But yeah, I never really saw a problem when I, because I still season my food with paprika when I had that breakout. If you guys follow me on Instagram, then you know what I'm talking about. Um, but this is just so good, you guys. The South African smoke, it's literally just paprika flakes, sea salt, garlic, and basil. I don't know what it is about it, but this is just so fire. And then this here is the Trader Joe's Everyday Seasoning. This one has mustard seed, black peppercorns, coriander, onion, garlic, paprika, and chili pepper. This is also a great seasoning blend as well. And actually, I came across this thread on Twitter where people were talking about all their favorite little concoctions from Trader Joe's or their favorite products. And it hit me, I'm like, Mel and I need to just like do a taste test video on all the things from Trader Joe's. Let me know if you guys would be interested in that video, but I just wanted to try a bunch of different foods from Trader Joe's. Um, in that thread, some people were saying like little random mixtures that they would do, and it just all looked so good. So let me know if you guys want us to do that. I think it'd be really fun. So I'm gonna let this meat, I was gonna say this fish, uh, this chicken marinade. I'm gonna watch my unorthodox life because that has been my favorite recently. Once Vaughn wakes up, we're gonna go to the Amazon Fresh grocery store. I've only been a few times and honestly, I mean, it's really cool if you guys have seen those Amazon grocery stores, like you just put your products, um, what you're buying into your cart and it'll automatically charge your Amazon account. Um, but the stores, they just don't have everything per se. And I feel like some things were a little bit more on the expensive side, but we got coupons in the mail and one of them is $20 off $50 or more and expires today. So I'm like, I need to go before they close. So once Vaughn wakes up, I'll get dressed and then we will head over there. And yeah, I'll show you guys the completed chicken and what we eat it with. I know this is kind of boring, but this is just day in my life, y'all. Day in my life as a mom. Right now, a single mom because my man's out of town. But yeah, see you guys later. So here's how I'm eating the chicken. It's just basically a bowl. So I have a bunch of lettuce at the bottom. I did a little bit of rice, tomatoes, avocado, the chicken, and this is the bitchin' sauce. I really, really like this sauce. Let me show you guys. I just used up the rest of this bitchin' sauce. So it's basically like a plant-based like dip sauce situation. It's made from cashews. Um, it's really good. I like it. It's very lemony. 
And like kind of, is it garlicky? Does it have garlic in it? Is that what I'm tasting? So yeah, it has almonds, it has garlic, it has soy sauce. It's just really good. I use the whole container. I also dip my carrots in here. But yeah, I'm just gonna eat this, drink my Diet Coke, not my Diet Coke, my Coke Zero, and then I'll see you guys later. What's up guys? As y'all can tell, the sun is setting. It's actually getting kind of late. It's like 7.45 right now. But pretty much after Kayvon, like after I showed you guys my lunch, I swear to God, I ate like two bites and Vaughn woke up. So I got him up, changed his diaper, all that stuff, gave him his food, and then we also played outside for a little bit. And guys, Vaughn was doing the cutest thing ever. I wish I had my camera. But he kept running to like one side of the backyard, and then he would just like dash towards me with his arm, arms all open waiting for a hug like it was the cutest thing he just kept on doing that like he'd come give me a hug he'd play a little bit run to the other side of the backyard and then come running towards me again it was so cute um but now what we are at amazon fresh like i told you guys i had a coupon i got this little coupon in the mail so it says get 20 dollars off when you spend 50 or more and it ends today so that's why i was like okay i need to go today to use this coupon because 20 dollars off like that's a really good coupon you know what i mean i don't usually use coupons because i usually forget to use them but i have to reread that a few times i'm like 20 dollars off like that's actually really good and it's sunday so we need to buy groceries anyway i'm hoping by the time i'm done grocery shopping mel will pull up so i'll have someone to help me bring them in but vaughn and i are about to go inside maybe i'll show you guys around if you guys haven't seen amazon fresh before it's really cool but yeah let's go Okay, so I actually can't use that cool cart where I can just like put the items in the cart automatically and it will scan it for me because I needed a kid seat. So those carts don't have anything for your child to sit in. So just a little word of advice, but they have regular carts too. I just have to go through the regular checkout just like any other grocery store. got a lollipop at Trader Joe's he said thank you it's because he helped the cashier with the groceries say thank you he's going in on this lollipop y'all who's back uh, finally I miss my boy and I miss my wife he made it back right in time for bedtime I didn't think you were gonna catch him I was Flying. Don't say um, you were speeding, um, babe. I didn't say speeding, but I was um, moving with um, a passion. <laughs> with a purpose? Uh, yes. You weren't taking in the views? Uh-uh. Well, me and Vaughn enjoyed our alone time. Give me this hand. I want to kiss it. But, guys, Vaughn and I had an amazing weekend. He is so, like, I just, I just loved it. We bonded. Mm. We had our alone time. We're together 24-7. We were attached at the hip. Ouch! Mom, why do you hit me in the face every time we film together? He's ready to sleep, guys. Yeah, he's, he's very he's tired. He's really tired. It's actually a little bit past his bedtime because daddy... He was chilling in the playpen. Mm -hmm. We were playing with his cars. Oh, cool. Playing with the beep beep. I'm going to be like, babe, it's getting late. Because you were going to keep playing. Yeah, we would have been up all night if mm -hmm. Nas didn't say anything. But, yes, I am back. It was a great time. Shout out to the Bay. It was enjoyable. We weren't. I wasn't really there long enough to like say anything about what it's oh. like there, but I, I had a good time. Mal is gonna go put Vaughn to bed so I can finish up putting away all these groceries. There's only a few more things that I needed. I actually, I don't think I said it to the vlog, but we went to Trader Joe's as well. And I got there like literally right before they closed, like 30 minutes before they closed. I was just trying to grab stuff as fast as I could. Um, but the only things that we really need for this week, already planned our meals. Um, we just need salmon for a few recipes, but I was thinking, I'm like, I just want to go to like an actual like fish market to get the salmon. I'm um, usually just buy salmon from like Whole Foods or Trader Joe's or something like that, but I want to go to like an actual like fish market and get like fresh fish the day of. And I want to see if it's like a big difference in the taste and stuff like that. But yeah, I'm just going to go ahead and put away all the groceries. I feel like I picked up a lot of condiments this time. I got this like Caribbean jerk marinade. I got this Olive Garden Italian dressing. I just got a lot of like, you know, stuff that I don't usually buy. This Chipotle lime mayo. I want to make some really good sandwiches tomorrow. Guys, I swear, holding this camera is like an arm workout in itself. My arms are getting so sore. But pretty much once I'm done putting away all the groceries, I want to bake these like blueberry muffins. I'm telling you guys, when I'm in the mood to cook and stuff, I go all out. Like I'm like, let's bake, let's do this, let's make sauce from scratch. I'm about to make these like healthy blueberry muffins made with like Greek yogurt and stuff like that. And I just wanna have them all ready so we can just eat them throughout the week. So yeah, let me put these groceries away and then we can bake our muffins together. 
Okay, so let's make our muffins. I'm following along this recipe on Pinterest. I will link it down below as well as my Pinterest. I would definitely follow me on Pinterest because I'm always just adding stuff on there so you guys can just keep up with that. So first things first, I did try to measure out as many things as I could. Um, I preheated the oven in a medium bowl, whisked together yogurt, milk, egg, vanilla, and honey. So I have my yogurt here. This is one cup of Greek yogurt. So the recipe says it's important to use Greek yogurt because regular yogurt will be too watery. You want it to be a little bit thicker. Yogurt, milk, this is one fourth of a cup. Egg. Honey and vanilla. One teaspoon of vanilla. Here's what that looks like. Gonna mix it together. I'm gonna do the dry ingredients. Cup of oats. Where's my three fourths scoop? Half a teaspoon of baking soda. Yes, half. And then we do one full teaspoon baking powder, adding some cinnamon, and then salt. I'm gonna add the wet mixture. Here are the muffins before they go in the oven. I just added a few more little blueberries. These are frozen blueberries, by the way. That's why they kind of already turned the mixture into like a purple color. But I'm excited to see what these turn out like. What's good, you guys? So I just got back from San Jose or the Bay Area last night, and I was only there for an overnight trip because I went to SneakerCon. Uh, me and my friend were passing out some flyers for a shoe convention that uh, is gonna be happening in Las Vegas, September 19th. So make sure if you guys are in Vegas or if you can pull up to Vegas September 19th, pull up to the shoe convention. I'm gonna put the information in the video or on the screen or something somewhere so that you guys can screenshot it or get the info and pull up. I'll be there for sure. But that's the only reason we went. I didn't even cop anything from SneakerCon. And as you guys can see, like this is part of my sneaker collection behind me. Obviously I love shoes. So the fact that I went there and didn't cop anything just lets you know we were there for business purposes only. So we literally walked around the entire convention, talked to every single vendor. There were over 300 vendors. We literally talked to every single vendor, got their information, gave them our information for the shoe convention. And so it was a long day. It was literally like a work day, but we made a lot of strong connections. I met a lot of dope people and I'm excited for what the future holds. Now, unfortunately, I didn't vlog vlog like as hard as I could have, but I did grab a couple clips for you guys to montage in. And Okay guys, I quickly wanted to make this ending because I want to talk about those muffins I made. I personally did not think they were good. So I didn't want anybody to follow the recipe and then be like, Nas, these muffins weren't that great. Mel liked, Mel ate all of them. Yeah, there's one more left. They're pretty good. I mean, obviously, they're, they're, healthy. they're a healthy muffin, so it's not like yeah. what you would be expecting if you're thinking you're about to get like this moist, cakey muffin. But Don't say moist. But honestly, the longer that they've been sitting, the better like they taste. So now it's been honestly what like two days. Yeah. And today it 
like was the best that it's tasted since she made it. So mine definitely turned out a little bit more gummy, I would say. And turns out, I think it's because I used frozen blueberries instead of fresh blueberries. Mm. And I think that added more moisture Makes to sense. the batter. So next time I'll use fresh blueberries for sure. And maybe we can try it again. Cause again, they are really healthy. Like using like Greek yogurt and like yeah. all that for your mm -hmm. muffin. If you do make the muffins, we have this cocoa spread from Trader Joe's. You put a little cocoa bit of that hazelnut. on the top. It's like cocoa hazelnut spread. You put a little bit of that on the top or Nutella. Yeah, it's that Trader Joe's Nutella. It's 10 out of 10. Oh. Oh. I swear holding Vaughn. Growing these muscles, look at this shit. Do I look strong, babe? Mm -hmm. I'm trying to look like Wonder Woman, y'all. So I break both my thumbs right now. What is it? The windmill? I have to put your. Are you... you break your wrist now. You have to turn. It's better. better, huh? <laughs> I think K-Mon could hit me harder than that. Oh! oh. This is what his uncle Quan taught him how to punch like that. Every time he sees Quan, he goes. Psh, I know. Psh, psh. Yeah, that's what he does every time he sees. I uh, love him. Bye guys, thanks for watching. Say, Say bye. bye. Say bye. <laughs> He's still trying to hit. Bye. 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 bye.